Hey guys, so welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. It's a midnight stock talk, but I really don't want to talk about stock. I really want to talk about the difficulties of holding the stock and or of living with all of these obstacles around you. I have a friend of mine right now dealing with some obstacles. I have my brother, of course, he's dealing with his saga. And then anyone else out there that over the last couple of weeks, it's been really rough. You know, I remember just two weeks ago, I was getting death threats. They're going to kill me, kill my family, whatever it may be. And I know everyone else is dealing with something. Uh, and, and you ask yourself, like, how steadfast can you be? Like, how are you actually going to just hang on to what your, what your beliefs are? And there's this, there's a story out there, the book of Job, I refer to it. But I only say this because I want to remind people of what it can mean for you. You know, the theory is that even though in this book, in this, in this statement, what, the, what was said is, and it's a very common phrase that people say, but they don't know where it really comes from. They say, um, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. And that's just referring as as fast as you get something, you can be taken away. And you should be thankful for what you have around you. But by giving you so much and taking so much from you, it's all about your reaction to the loss, right? So to give you an example, Job in the Bible had children. And he had, I believe it was 10 children. Seven boys, three girls. I don't really remember the, the numbers, but um, I, I haven't read this in forever and I haven't been told this in forever. So my point is this. All of his children died. And it was something that he had to deal with mentally. And it'll mess with your fate. It'll mess with your belief system. But the whole time he stayed true to who he was and what he believed in. And he never faulted anyone. He never cast blame on anyone. So that just means a lot. It means a lot to re to stay within that conviction of what your belief system is. And I use those today. The parallels are the same for anything I go through. Um, right now, I would tell you I haven't had the perfect life. Uh, we've all had a crazy run at some point. You know, sometimes you know you, you get in a really rough spot. And you don't know how you're gonna make it out. But if you believe in something, and you believe that you'll overcome it, you will. You will. And it's more than just belief, right? It's it's getting out there and doing what it takes to uphold your end of the bargain. So I would tell you guys, for those of you that are dealing with difficult situations, the ones who reach out to me in DMs, tell me what's going down, I'll just tell you, be extremely steadfast in your beliefs. And, and I, I couldn't be stronger for you. And I'm going to be as strong as I have to be. And I'll make every video I can. And although I won't be cross, you know, cross posting from platform to platform, if you guys see me from time to time, if I'm live, come join in the live. If I didn't, if you didn't, if you missed the live stream, just go ahead and watch it again, you know, when you can, or watch the old videos and just to reminisce about good times you might have had during those during those moments. But I guarantee you, the hard times don't last, right? You get past them. We always do. But you know, on the words of, uh, of Drake or in the words of Almo, it's God's plan, man. It really is. So uh, I'm a firm believer in that. And I don't mean to get religious on you guys, but it's not so much as religion. It's more of a belief. Right? There's, a, there's a plan out there for everyone. And as long as you keep doing what's right, good things will come your way. That's it. So I'll keep posting. I'll keep grinding. I'll keep doing the homework and the research. But uh, even tonight, I just need to feel blessed. And I need to tell you guys that, um, that I'm in a moment of clarity. The stock price, well, that's easy. It's, you know, I'm going to buy more. <laughs> I bought more today. I'll buy more tomorrow. I'm averaging about two shares a day right now. Um, which is feel, It feels good to do it. Uh, I'll have my anniversary come February for when I first, start, when I first bought the stock. Uh, I want to average one share a day over the last uh, you know, three years, four years that I'll be holding five years, six years moving forward, I want to average more than a share a day, two to three a day, so that we can get, you know, those thousands and thousands of shares that, that you would want to really have at this company if you believe in it, so that's me, how I believe in GameStop, but as far as, you know, content creator and and being a father and a husband and being a friend, uh, I'm going to do my best for everyone, I'm going to do my best day in, day out, so thanks again for all the support, guys, sorry it's a mushy, mushy video, but uh, I'm in my feelings tonight. I'm in my feels because I know some of my brothers out there are hurting. Some of my sisters are out there are hurting. But you know what? Tomorrow's a better day. It can be. Keep your head up. Peace.